now let's move on to something else entirely. Right, it's Friday, which means it's relaxation day for everybody else. I'm on baby duty tonight with Henry. It's my Friday night job. Um, but you might be chilling out with uh, perhaps a glass of something cold in the garden, sticking the telly on, uh, perhaps even relaxing in a nice warm bath. But what about a bath that involves no getting naked or water? It sounds like this. That is the sound of a sound bath. What on earth is a sound bath? Well, Jenny in Claverton uh, knows all about them and she's on the line now. Hello, Jenny. Morning, Vic. How are you doing? Splendid. Thank you very much indeed. Now, I was really intrigued by this because I keep seeing the odd sound bath class being offered up locally and didn't really understand uh, what it was. So can you explain what a sound bath is? Yeah, of course. And as you said, it's not about getting in water or, or bringing you swimming stuff, uh, which is what people ask a lot. It is actually just being bathed in sound. So as you, you just played that little bit of audio there, it's, it's getting really relaxed and lying back and shutting your eyes and allowing the sound to wash over you. And at the very least, it's a, it's a deeply relaxing experience. How, how does it work? How, how is it listening to these noises more relaxing than, say, lying down and... I'm trying to think of a relaxing person to listen to and uh, I'm, I'm, my, my record collection doesn't go, go, uh, go that far. Maybe that's one of the Rail problems. Noises. Enya, there you go. Enya, there you go. <laughs> listening to Enya. Well, these are more specific, but it doesn't really matter, really, um, without getting too technical. At the very base of all matter is vibration and sound is vibration, we see in vibration, we actually smell in vibration. That is a new thing in the last, I don't know, 10 years or so. What now? Um, Hang on, whoa, rewind. We smell in vibration. We smell in vibration. Um, uh, don't ask me much more than that because I've forgotten all the chemistry, but we do actually smell in vibration. Um, um, but also we hear in vibration, and at the very basis of all matter, underneath matter, um, the very beginning of matter is vibration. In fact, there's an amazing YouTube video where they vibrate a plate, a black plate, um, to different hertz, and you can watch the sand they place on it begin to make these amazing geometric pa patterns, and they get more complex the um, higher the vibration of the plate. It's, it's magnificent. Wow. Um, so just like we tune a piano, so when a, when a piano is out of tune, we can use a tuning fork next to the part of the, the um, chord of the piano that's out of tune and, and bring it up into its um, harmony. We can do the same with our bodies because we are vibrational by nature. And so taking amazing vibrations like these bowls or the meditation gongs just allows our body to come into a harmony with how it likes to sing, if you like. It's beautiful. It's, well, it certainly sounds it. So <laughs> you, you say bowls. How do, what kind of bowls? And presumably not the ones I have my porridge in. No, but have you ever put your finger around a wine glass and made that um, humming sound? Oh, yes, yeah. So yeah. we, I'm playing crystal bowls, very specific crystal bowls, just like that. And I, I also play meditation gongs, but they don't translate well. I'm, I'm only doing sound bars over, over Zoom at the moment, so uh, they don't translate well at all. So I'm just doing crystal bowls. I've got, I've got three of them here. I've got five in total. And they play these amazing, we call them soundscapes. And people listen in on Zoom. They shut their um, cameras off and they turn their sound off and they're in their pyjamas. I've heard some people are listening with a G&T. And, and I can't condone it, but it actually <laughs> sounds really amazing. <laughs> Do, does, mean, <laughs> does the vibration translate over the internet? Uh, well, I can only control how the sound goes out. So I have special equipment here that makes it go out well. And then I have a little sound check YouTube video. So then you have to, when you book your um, Zoom place, uh, you have to go to the sound check video and figure out how it works for you. I just That's the best we can do at the moment. Um, but yeah, it does translate. Lots and lots of people tune in. And, and this works, for, uh, presume, how do you make sure you stay upright? If, if it's that relaxing whilst you're doing your gonging, do you ever drop off yourself? I think I'm a bit numb. I don't know. <laughs> I've been playing for so long. I think, I think it, yeah, no, I, I'm concentrating. And I've got a screen on me. Everyone can see me. So uh, I'm sitting uh, there yeah. looking really good in my best behaviour and not drinking a G&T. No, absolutely not. We cannot condone that kind of behaviour. Not until, uh, well, we've got about 15 minutes until, uh, until it's OK. You say you use specific crystal bowls. What's the specificity within them? What is it that makes them work? Well, and so it really just different hertz, different vibrations. So different vibrations 
create uh, uh, harmonized with different parts of us and sound um, process very uh, deeply within our brain but really we are looking at um, di just very simply different hurts different movements and um, so I have um, one of the bowls I've got here is called an androgynous indium and that's around sort of harmonizing the male and female sides of us allowing some balance I mean we could wax lyrical all day but actually it's the experience that speaks for itself because it is different for everybody and different every time so there's no sort of claim about it it is very simply how it works for you Right, so it, it, it's, there's no specific science to this. Well, there's science to the vibrational hurts of it, absolutely. If we're looking at quantum physics, there is absolutely science behind that. Um, and there's lots of interesting peer-reviewed papers around sound and what they do. But I think it's best not to make any claim other than it's pretty relaxing. And then people come and they use it for how it works for them. So we would just take it as an, on an experiential basis, I think. So it's basically whatever sort of tickles your biscuit is fine in the vibration world. Have you got something <laughs> there on you that does a, oh. does a gong in? I've got, I haven't got any gongs, so they don't translate well. Okay. Um, but I have been doing garden ones. They're good, at, they're good outside. So I've got three of my bowls here, sort of a okay. higher one and two of the lower ones. All right, well, give us, give us some bowl action. Yes, please. All right, I'm going to pop the phone near them so I won't hear you. Two seconds. Okay, that's fine. Oh, let's enjoy this. Okay. I'm excited now. Blimey heck. Harmony in bowls, who'd have thought that was a possible thing? Mm. Mm. Oh, yes. Um, that, that sounds a little bit like when my Auntie Margaret's hearing aid used to go off, you know, when she was giving herself feedback. Just a little bit like that. You turn it down, turn it down, Margaret! Turn it down, it's one of those. Oh. Did they come through? Well, yes, they did. Um, it's, really? it's, uh, yeah, d the last one I d d was minded of me, Auntie Margaret's hearing aid. Um, I think that's the way it came over on the uh, on the phone. But it's an extraordinary noise hearing that uh, that vibration. Well, look, um, I wish you well with it. Thank you so much. And at some point, we'll have to join in one of your classes and uh, and see how it works, Jenny. Uh, thank Absolutely. you. Yeah, thank you very much indeed for for talking to us. That's the um, the sound bath. Uh, which sounds incredible. Now, Jenny was telling us that there is...